Yo, Reaper team. All right, listen. We got a good old-fashioned skunking yesterday. I mean, zilch. It looked so good. Whales, porpoise. I mean, it was just unreal. Uh, just no fish. Uh, I literally saw one bent rod all day. Uh, my buddy had a couple. Uh, aside from that, the whole fleet just did nothing, as did us. Um, it's been a long time since I've had a good old-fashioned skunking, but I just want to let you guys know it happens. You know, it's fishing. Uh, but listen, we're back to the trials and tribulations of boat ownership. So on the way back yesterday, actually mid-trip, I had a problem with the port throttle. It's always been kind of sticky. Um, I'll show you how the, the mechanism works down below, but pretty sure I, I busted the, the throttle cable actually. So yesterday we were stuck at like 2000 RPM. So um, in order to get us home, I had to shift at that RPM. So I'm really hoping I didn't damage the transmission. Um, but also I noticed when I was down there troubleshooting the throttle, that I had a bunch of um, soot all around the turbo. And it really looked a lot like when we blew the exhaust manifold gasket on the starboard side last year. I, call, I told Zach, I said, dude, I feel some vibration on the port and it feels similar when we blew that exhaust gasket. He told me I was crazy, but uh, I'll show you what I think is the problem. All right, so Reaper team. So you can see we are all sooted up. All right, I mean, look at that. Look, that's, uh, that's no good. So. So very similar to, again, what happened on that starboard engine uh, last year. I did notice last year when we blew that exhaust manifold gasket, the soot was really all over the place on the engine itself and not just on the ceiling of the engine room. Um, in addition, it was actually more forward than anything, whereas this is more relegated to the, to the back part of the engine and very much so around the turbo. So uh, just very quickly, I came down here today, and what do I see? Boom, look, looks like there's a little gasket right there that shot um so that is between the turbo all right so this is the the actual turbo right here um and then this is the i believe what's called the the mixing elbow um so pretty sure that's the mixing elbow it might be what's technically called the exhaust elbow i'm not really sure but this i think should be not too hard to fix so um yeah it's just that that it, that it, uh silly gasket is shot um so that's kind of good news um i might be able to just find that part pop all this off replace that gasket and we'll be good unfortunately when i bought the boat i said it before they used the wrong gaskets um i think this off season we're gonna have to go ahead and change every single gasket on this sucker but uh i'm gonna do a 2000 hour service anyway so um we'll get that done in the off season but also I noticed that what had happened was this throttle was sticking. Um, now what happens, it runs off, believe it or not, it runs off this um, fluid system here. So it's a hydraulic engine control system. You can see it there. And it's actually, it uses this, um, it's coolant, it's engine coolant, believe it or not. So it's pressurized and then it goes through these controlling system. And this controls both the transmission and the throttles. But this one's been kind of sticky. Um, and I treble shot, I ran this all the way to where it hooks onto the actual throttle at the engine and right around here, uh, it looks like it is torn. So I'm going to try and get that off and see if I can find a replacement, um, so we can get rolling again. Uh, I have not been fishing much. Um, I have a good stretch off the middle of this month and then I got to work for until like the end of time. So we got to get this thing up and running. So... Uh, I'm gonna try and get this throttle cable off and then I'm gonna try and find that part and I'll uh, Show you guys how we fix things here. I'm not the expert, but Zach's MIA. I don't know where he is. He had, like turned off his phone. I don't know So I'm not to do it myself, but it's fun. I'm getting better at it You know, I usually just drive the boat pay the bills and kill the kill the fish but uh, With the confidence of having Zach to help me. I've been getting a lot better at, at all this mechanical stuff but I'm still very much so a novice, so wish me luck. Oh yeah, also forgot to mention that I have a coolant leak on the uh, generator. I can't seem to figure out where that's coming from, so gotta troubleshoot that too. Generators and need some, need some TLC guys. Ocean Yachts really did a, a good job. They put it in such a stupid spot. Um, it just gets a lot of moisture from above, uh, so this thing sees a lot of, a lot of water, and as you can see, it's it's pretty well rusted, so. I think in the off season, I, I kind of want to get that sucker pulled out and um, basically almost take it apart, rebuild it, you know, get it all status quo. All right, guys. So what I did was I just uh, I just kind of bled out the system here. All right. So this way I was able to release this. 
this thing needs to be stuck this is what actually turns the you use this <clears throat> that turns the this is attached to upstairs and then that turns the cable which then pulls on the throttle all right so um, this part seems to be stuck right here but uh, the cables busted so but luckily I was able to get the part number so uh, now that I've got that I'll try and overhead overhead <laughs> I'll try and overnight that part and then uh, get that changed and, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the cable hooked up and then I'll I'll just kind of refill and pressurize the the tank over there to get the throttle system back up and going so yeah so repairs are in progress gotta get this gotta get this done before that next stretch off I think what happened yesterday I think the water just got too cold I think the fish were still there they just weren't biting but uh, Reaper team, have no fear. Uh, I got one other video coming out here where uh, we got a couple nice, nice big tuna and uh, even had a broken gaff. That's a first for me. So, uh, yeah, as always, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. I'll uh, check back with you guys when I get this sucker fixed. It's fun. I love it. Better than work. Yeah.